Welcome to Raising Extreme Athletes Uncensored. This is your reality check and home for uncensored, trusted advice and stories from the trailblazers who came before us. Because it takes a strategic village to raise an extreme pro athlete. This is your village. Today, we're going to be talking about the power of words. Words, baby, they are more powerful than blows to the face. Are you guys ready to learn the power of words and how you can simplify life so much better and make things so much better simply by understanding their power? I'm Marina, your host, mother of two aspiring rock climbers and wife to an extreme athlete. What is the conversation going on in your house? And what about the coaches? What words are they using? You cannot even understand the impact of words. Words, they are so powerful. And the power to rephrase them, that's the actual superpower. It's understanding the necessity of how to rephrase. This is probably going to be at the beginning of the core. It's going to be literally like about raising the kid's mindset, right? It's all about mindset and mindset happens with words and actions. Okay. So it's not telling your kid that he's going to be, or that she's going to be a champion and that they're going to get the Olympic gold medal. That's a pipe dream. And Everybody should know that, right? And that's okay to understand that. That doesn't have to be the end all do all, right? Because yeah, I mean, it's great to have that as an aspiration and certainly great to have that as a goal, but that should not be the power of the word usage saying that that's what they're going to be, right? Because that could create more about failing rather than achieving. So that could be an incredible, huge goal, but talking about the realistics, about understanding how to deal with things that are happening right here, right now, because if you don't know how to deal with what's going on, you're never going to get to that Olympic level. You're never going to get to that level that you are telling your kid that they should be a striving, striving for, right? So it comes down to the power of the words. How are you dealing with failures? Failure is going to be an absolute norm. Are you guys, you know, punishing them for failures? Are you rewarding them for failures? Are you discussing how the failure could be turned into a success? This is words. This is how it's used. How about when you deal with injuries? One thing that I've definitely noticed within my own kids is when they're going through a lot of shit in their mind, a lot of times it's pretty much just mental, right? All of a sudden they start to create these fictitious injuries, right? And we try to go the route and be like, this is, you know, all in your head kind of route. It doesn't, that doesn't work because it's so real to them, right? So, and then you've got the actual real injuries, right? My son fell, I don't know, like 10 meters, had a concussion. Um, they thought he had a, frac a skull fracture. He was in the hospital for three days, only gratefully to find out from a neurologist that he didn't but that was an injury. He was put out for three months. That was a real injury, right? And, but then getting back onto his feet was really a struggle. And that's the mental stuff, right? That's how do you deal with that? What about how to deal with losses? I mean, I have episodes for each one of these really, really getting into the focus of how to really deal with this. I even have one about the art of losing, and also, how do you deal with the winning? I have a really important one about that one, right? Because you don't want to get too cocky. Second, you get to that cockiness. And again, that's all about the conversation in the house. Are you focusing on the win and saying how great the kid is? Or are you focusing on how great his training was and their commitment to the training? Because that makes everything different, right? All of a sudden, it's not about this innate natural talent, which we all know goes so far. But it's about their work ethic because work ethic will always win. This is that conversation, right? What is your conversation? How are you making those decisions? And I have an entire episode about decision making because decision making can make or break everything. And that's what it's all about. And that's all about the power of the words. What happens inside that house? How do you manage it? What happens inside the coach's circle, right? 
you want to be participant in there once in a while or just ask your kids because there are many coaches that are really bad and they could actually do a lot of real damage to the child rather than lift them up, inspire them and motivate them. Again, power of the words, conversation is the most important thing. To be around the team that is healthy and supportive, all of that, that is all part of how to make your child the athlete that they can be, right? And it's all within the words. So if there are negative things going on, you need to offset it. You need to figure out and, and rephrase it, right? Because rephrasing is the super power. Okay, so I want to know what kind of conversation do you guys have in that house? How does it work? Like the reason why I even started this, I've always wanted to know like, what was the conversation going on in Tiger Woods home? You know, what was the conversation going on in Serena and Venus's home? I mean, we get a little bit of a glimpse in a movie, but we know that that's not the whole story, right? And that's what makes all the difference, I believe. It's that conversation in the house. And I want to know your conversation in the house. So please share that with me. Let's talk about it. Like that's the whole point of It Takes a Village. And if you enjoyed this episode, please leave me a review. Share it with your friends. And again, I'm here for the support. Like that's the whole point is this is growing a community to support one another.